Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little Dr. Mario action this morning. Uh, another game on our versus dual system, our red tent. Going through and doing gameplay videos of all the Nintendo versus games that I have. So uh, we've got this and Super Mario Brothers left. We've done RBI, Excite Bike. I used to have some other games, but I don't have those chipsets anymore. So um, I'm not really great at Dr. Mario. Let's coin this thing up. I should have my wife play this because <laughs> she's awesome. Um, we're going to start at the bottom because, like I said, I'm not great at this game. Um, yeah, Dr. Mario was, what, 1989? 1990? When was Dr. Mario? I'd have to look that up. Um, the problem with this game for me is I was always really good at Tetris, and I always want to play this game like Tetris, and it doesn't play anything like that. So my brain doesn't work the right way, <laughs> but it's a fun game. Um, I actually, it's one of those weird games that I remember the first time I ever played this. It was on the NES and it was at uh, one of my buddy's houses. And I, I remember uh, seeing that it was a, oh man, seeing it was a Mario game and I was stoked on it. But then I started playing it and I'm like, oh, this is not like any Mario game I've ever played before. It's a fun little game though. I mean, you're just trying to get rid of these viruses uh, by stacking four or three light colors on top of them. But I just, there's ways to get like combos and I just, I'm not that great at it. That was a good one. You get, I think you get higher points for like doing combos on these things, but, and now this doesn't want to give me any colors that I can use. So yeah, it's straightforward. This game won't last very long. Yeah, this is a, uh, and I feel like it's the same with everybody. Oh man, I was trying to see if we could get like a cool, there we go. Um, I kind of feel like everyone says the same thing. If they have a spouse or a girlfriend, this seems to be like every wife's or girlfriend's favorite game. My wife is really, really good at this game. Um, and I actually, when I first got into this hobby, um, I found a versus Unisystem upright with Dr. Mario and I bought it for her for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh no. See, this is where, um, that's, I should have done that. Um, and it was awesome. She came home and I had it in the garage and that's when um, we lived in our first condo. That was my very first like attempt at having a garage arcade. And it was one of the, uh, It was one of the, uh, gosh darn it. No, what, oh shoot, <laughs> uh oh. Um, it was one of the first, what was I saying? I'm trying to concentrate on doing this. Apparently talking and playing this game at the same time is hard for me. Uh, it was one of those garages where you pull forward so you could fit two cars in it but it was a, uh, a garage where you'd have to like park two cars uh, one in front and one behind. I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk and play this. <laughs> but uh, so she would park in the garage, even though there was like a couple, there, I only had two games at that time, I think. Um, and she came home from work the one night and when she opened the garage, the game was waiting for her and she was super pumped. So it paid off, it was a risk, but it worked out. But yeah, she's super good at this game. Me, not so much. I like to think I'm pretty good at Tetris. The NES version of Tetris. The, what is that, the Tengen version or whatever it is? Shoot, gosh darn it, man. See, this is where I don't, it should work. There we go. I don't know if my brain just doesn't think quick enough or what the hell my problem is. Ooh, that was a good one. Yay me. Okay, 
Yeah, I always kind of wonder. I feel like not, not a lot of my friends growing up played Dr. Mario. Wonder how many people are fans of this game. Oh no, what am I doing? Why did I just do that? That was so stupid. I should have pointed that down too, that was dumb. Uh, see, now I'm just wasting them because I don't know. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, enough with the blue and the red. Jeez. That's all it's given me. What am I doing right now? Alright. My dumbass needs to figure this out. <laughs> oh, there we go. We do this. Get rid of that. Shoot, now we're back on purple though. I'm surprised I got this far. So far. Alright, give me some blue ones. See, now I just... This is where... There's probably a better way of doing this. This is gonna get ugly. Come on. <laughs> We're just playing Tetris over here now. It's good times. Come on, dude. Here we go. Like I said, I probably could be clearing this way faster if I was doing something correct, but... Do you get points for just clearing? Let's see here. Does go up 14-6? Nope. You only get points for uh, the viruses. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. before baseball, dude. Oh, no. That was not good. Yeah, there's this. Oh, my gosh. Game over. That's it. I thought that was the other way. Oh well. 16,200, not good. Need to be your high score. No, I don't have a high score. All right, that's Dr. Mario. Oh, we can put our name in. This thing doesn't save high scores, I wish it did. But you got the Someone needs to make a kit that saves high scores for this. We got the Super Mario Brothers high score saved, but not this one. Matt Osborne, make it happen, bro. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Hey, Presents!
since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.